What's going on YouTube world? This is your guy, your internet brother, your internet friend, Sills the Man. Thank you for coming back and supporting me and watching all my content, watching all my videos as I talk about understanding the mind of good men, decent men, awesome men. And as I pick it back off of that, I just want to let you know just something. I just want to I just want to throw this across your way and let you know that it is not enough just to be in a relationship. It is not enough just to be in a relationship with a good man. Even a decent, it's, that is not enough. That is not the end all be all. And I say that because you deserve more than that. You want more than that. You actually need more than that. What you need is to be with someone, to be with a man who pours into you. You need a pourer. Is that even a word? Pour? Well, guess what? On this beautiful evening, pourer is officially a real word. Pourer. But I'm serious though, there's a clear divide in between the standards of a relationship and being in a relationship with someone who actually adds to it, adds to you, adds value, pours into you. So today, what I'm going to talk about, I'm going to bring up six signs that your man, a man, is actively, emphasis on active, actively pouring into you. But before I start, make sure you hit that subscribe button below, right? Like, comment, tell me what you think. Follow me on all things Sills the Man, and let's get straight into it, all right? The first sign that a man is actively pouring into you is he doesn't entertain your beefs. He doesn't entertain your negative altercations. He doesn't feed into those things, especially the beefs you have with important people, loved ones, your mother, your father, your sister, your brother, your daughter. He doesn't entertain that. He doesn't feed into that because why? Those are things of negativity. And what counteracts someone who's trying to pour into you? Negativity. Why? Because pouring into someone, it is a positive action. Trying to do that is like taking one step forward and two steps back every time. So to eliminate all that, a man, your man will not feed into the negative things that will hurt you, hold you back, and keep you from progressing. When a man is pouring into you, he wants the best for you. He wants better for you. He wants you to become the best version that you possibly can be. But you can't do that with beefs. You can't do that if you are anchored in problems and issues with other people. Because those things kill you, hold you back, make you sick, upset you, distracts you, puts you in a down place. All negative things. So, when a man is pouring into you, he's going to try to find a solution to this issue with this other person. He's going to say, hey man, listen, thank you for coming to me and telling me this beef that you got, this negative situation with this person that you got. Now, what are we going to do today? How can I help you today to get you out of this situation, to, to bring a solution to this beef that you have? Because it is bothering me and it is clearly bothering you because you're coming to me and I see you're emotional about it. I see the effect it's having on you. What can I do to help? A real man is gonna want you to get out of this mess because it is nothing but crap. It is hard for a man, your man, to pour into you when someone else is taking away from you. That's like pouring into a bucket with holes in the bottom of it. The more I pour into you, the more it leaks out because of someone or something else. We ain't got time for that. Big sign right there. Second sign that a man is pouring into you and into your life is kind of piggybacking off of negativity. He does not let you steep and stew and anchor and lay in your problems. He does not let you slump and linger in your negativity or whatever negative situation that you're going through at the moment. He does not let that fly. A man who pours into you will try his best to pull you out of that muck. Have you ever been in a relationship or are you in a relationship where you tell your man an issue, something that you're dealing with, struggling with, trying to find a way out of, and he's just like, ah, things will get better. Dang, that's messed up. I tell you, life be life and And you sitting there like, okay, that, that's all? You, you're, going, you're expecting help, right? Because <laughs> that's your man, your partner, supposed to be. That is a man who's not pouring into you. Because a man who's pouring into you is not going to let you sit in that bad position. Because once again, he wants the best for you. He wants better for you, and he wants you to be the best version of yourself. You cannot be that if you are stuck in your hurt, stuck in your pain, stuck in your drama. What is the point of me being here watching you suffer in your suffering? What is my point in being here as your man if I'm gonna just let that happen to you? Not gonna happen. Because I am so dedicated to pouring into you, that will nullify that. That is impossible. Because of my dedication in pouring to you, 
I will dedicate in making or putting you in a better position every chance that I can get. And in order to do that, I gotta pull you out of that mess. I'm gonna do whatever it takes as your man to do that. That is an action of pouring into. Pouring is an active action. It moves, it doesn't stop. It is a transfer, a lot of kinetics going on. There's motion and all those things involve action and intention. So it will show when your man is pouring into you. The third sign that a man is pouring into you and your life is he prays for you deeply. Whether it's in front of you or when you're not around or both, a man prays for you. Let me tell you something. One of the worst fears of a man, a decent man, a good man, is to lose his woman. And guess what? It happens every single day. One of a man's worst fears is to see his woman lose her potential, give up on her dreams, feel hopeless, feel depressed when he's there. That is a real fear. But it's an even bigger feel when a man feels like he's doing everything he possibly can for her. That he's tried everything, asked for advice, seeked help for you. And there is nothing left but to pray. Even though a man wants to do everything, there is so much a man can do. There is so much your man can do. But for those who are of faith, we know that prayer has a mysterious power, a miraculous work. But just the action of prayer shows how much he truly wants you to be better because he has taken it out of his hands. He has given it to God. He's given it up and saying, hey, I'm doing everything I can, but I want more for her. I need more for her. So I'm going to pray for you every day, my love, because I cannot do everything. This life is so unpredictable and I want the best for you. So I will do everything that is possible, whether it's with my hands or with my mouth in the words of prayer, I will do that in order to give you the greatest chances in success. That's love. The first sign that a man is actively pouring into you and your life is he does not support your wrongdoing. He will hold you accountable when you are wrong. There's an interesting part of this, right? Because it involves two. The woman has to be mature enough to take criticism and accountability because if not, she's going to take his criticism in the wrong way. But then the other part is on the man. He has to be coming from a good place with his criticism. He has to be living exactly what he's saying because let me tell you something. I will never take the advice for someone who is not living what they're telling me. You telling me, oh, you should definitely do this. You should invest in this. You should move like this. But then when I look at your lifestyle, you are doing none of those things. You are not eating your own medicine as they say. So that man has to make sure that he's coming from a good place. It takes two to tangle on this one, but we're talking about good men, decent men. So that means he is coming from a good place because he wants you to be in, in, in the best positions possible. He wants you to become better. He's going to keep you accountable. He's going to tell you when you're wrong. He's going to say, Hey, that was not cool. What you did the other day did not put you in a good light. Hey, what you did tonight was embarrassing. I'm just letting you know from, from a place of love. Why did you do that? That was not like you. He's gonna hold you accountable when things are wrong and you know it's right because he's coming from a good place. A man who is not pouring it to you does not want you to be better and in order to become better, you have to take truthful criticism. Some of the biggest jumps that I made in my life were the results of someone that I trust holding me accountable, telling me where I messed up, where I slipped up, where I could have been better. But without those criticisms, I would have been doing the same mess and not improving, not becoming better. So if he's pouring into you, he wants you to be better. And in order to be better, you gotta take accountability on the things you mess up on, your wrongdoings, and your misactions. A man who's pouring into you do not want you to be embarrassing yourself out here. Because if you're embarrassing yourself, you're embarrassing him too. Because y'all are together. The fifth sign that a man is pouring into you, actively pouring into you, is he supports your businesses, your passions, and your endeavors. Listen. Seals the man, your guy, screams this from the mountaintops every single chance and moment that I can get. And what is that? To go after your dreams. Go after your passions. Whatever is on your mind to do, do it. If you feel like you're good at something and you wanna make a business out of it, you wanna make money off of it, you wanna make an impact on other people's lives, the world, do it. Because the worst thing you can do is kill your own blessing. And it's not just about you when it comes to blessings because usually blessings impact other people. Your skill, your talent, your passion is bigger than you know. So don't you dare give up on something that amazing, right? And because your man know this, because he pours into you, because he's a pourer, <laughs> he's gonna feed that. He's going to invest in that. 
He's going to ask, how can I help you in your endeavors, in your new business? How can I assist in you creating this company? What can I do to help enrich your passions? All of these things are acts of pouring into. When I'm pouring into you, there is no time for judgment. When I'm pouring into you, I am looking out for you. When I'm pouring into you, I am becoming an active participant in your enrichment. This is real. I am here for you actively. I love it when people say they're here for you, but it's dead as a doorknob. If you're gonna say you're here for me, I need to see it, I need to smell it, I need to feel it. That is active. And the sixth sign that a man is pouring into you and into your life is he draws to you when in need. He comes closer to you when you need it the most. But he does not do the opposite. He does not disappear when you need him the most. He does not go missing when you're at your bottom of bottom. A man who pours into you is there. You know, when it comes to this, you will find people's true colors when you are at the bottom of the barrel, when you are at un underneath the ground, when you are going through it, when you know what hits the fan, people will show their true colors. And that includes your partner. A man who pours into you is gonna be there through and throughout. He's gonna be there when you're at your bottom, when you're in the middle, and when you're on top. Nothing changes. In fact, when you're at the bottom, his pouring into you probably is even greater, magnified, bigger, because he knows that you need him at that moment the most. Therefore, I gotta show out. I gotta do my all and more to get you out of this because that is my responsibility as your protector. That is my responsibility as your man. That is my responsibility as your pourer. Because you know what? I don't judge people on what they could do for me when I'm doing good. I base people's intentions off of what they do for me when I'm at my worst. Because when things are going good, it's going good. I don't need you to pour into me. My bucket is full. Anything that you pour into me with a full bucket is just extra. The cherry on top. What matters is when a bucket is empty. That is when you need to be poured in the most. When you are desolate, bare bone, empty. That's when I need you to pour into me. And a man who pours into you will do just that. So I hope y'all enjoyed my video today. And no, please know, there is a difference between being in a relationship and being in a relationship with someone who actually pours into you. Go get you a pourer. Pour. <laughs> Peace and blessings to y'all. I'll see y'all in my next video. Thank you for being here on this evening. Good night.